now this is one one more job called the surrogate key generator so what is the surrogate key surrogate key is nothing but the key it's a, like the, the borrowing key right we call this as the surrogate key means um, we are assigning a new key surrogate key anyway that you will understand later when we will discuss about the keys you will understand we have business keys like multiple keys are there okay so i am creating one surrogate key now let's see what is surrogate key so the source is customer trans october means the transaction happened by different customers in the month of october so this is one table we have let us uh, have a look at the table uh, how the data present in the table so customer trans october yeah this is the data set copy this and then paste here restore restore it again this table says then customer transactions in the month of october then open it and see customer id calendar date product number quantity sold and revenue amount and the product cost so here the customers are with their id numbers 186 are there okay some are 180 125 are there but some missing values are there we don't forget i mean just forget about them so uh, just sort the customer id here 7369 7369 means this customer made these many transactions on different different dates like 15th october 18th october like that okay so and this customer also made multiple tra uh, transactions in the month of october right so there is no unique key actually how to extract or how to name this particular row it's not possible right so that's why we are giving one key okay that's called a surrogate key or we can also call it as unique key unique key i am providing a unique key so that uh, with that unique number we can easily identify that particular row means we are giving a unique numbers to each and every row so that is called giving the surrogate key okay so here what is this customer id the customer id is the business key why it's called a business key because here the customer is making the transactions with this key only if the business is happening with the customer id right so that's why we call this as a uh, business key it's not the surrogate key okay so the business key should be like this and we should add one surrogate key also so we have a transformation called the surrogate key generator uh, jobs new job surrogate key generator job or you can give any name then this is the customer transaction happened in the month of october and uh, we need one um, target table also but it should be uh, registered so what is your transformation is surrogate key generator now you can register this one directly also properties or directly you can register here with our properties also register table where uh, the table name is uh, okay let's give the sk surrogate key a customer october okay now physical storage is in the target only target library then give the same name then okay then let us go to the surrogate key and change the properties what options you want to give so you want to give increment from maximum number in target table yes means 1 2 okay then target table which one where is your target table my target table is in uh, target key right mm. or else it's not saved actually right sk customer or else you just give it no issue target 
dot sk customer actually this is my target table then data what is the business key my business key is the value that is created is not valid data so it does not exist it is not showing this data okay actually it's not registered why because the transformation not happened right so that's why it's not registered so we'll do one thing we can create one table okay and you can overwrite it also you can replace it also right okay so we'll do one thing uh, move it I mean, without doing this also we can do the i mean it's uh, it's okay but it will take one more step target new table servet key customer october target library then it should contain the same transactional data then it will have one more variable right that is the servet key move it just move it up servet key so numeric all the keys are numeric next finish then connect it but we need the table loader you can replace it replace okay replaced then here yeah. options target is this my target and business keys you have to define the customer id as a business key then where is your select surrogate key column surrogate key column so created the column then let me see options you can give target that sk custom oct other options you no need so you can see the code also you can verify have it generated the code okay so fine complete successfully save it then open see that see it gave unique number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so it, it's giving unique numbers to the missing values also and because it never bother about the missing values okay so it gave the unique numbers so this is called the servet key generating the servet key it's useful when you are creating the schemas okay star schema snowflake schema i mean any other schemas uh, dimensional data model okay mm, to create the fact table also we need this type of the servet